Okay, so we're going to take a look at a statics problem that is based on a physical therapy situation. We have an approximation of an arm that has a mass of 3.3 kilograms. And if we approximate it as a long straight rod that has mass uniformly distributed throughout it, then we have a muscle called the deltoid that pulls upward at an angle. So this is the shoulder muscle. And the socket exerts a force in the opposite direction. But the angle that the force from the socket um, acts at is not yet determined. So the, the deltoid muscle is acting at 12 centimeters. That means that the insertion point is 12, meters, 12 centimeters from the axis rotation. So we can start off with the torque equation. And the torque equation is a condition for equilibrium that says the sum of all the torques has to equal zero. And when we label what the torques are, we have a torque that's created by the weight of the arm, so mass times gravity, and it is acting at 24 centimeters from the axis of rotation. So 3.3 times 9.8 times the distance from the axis of rotation and that's 24 centimeters so 0 0.24 now this force is trying to create a clockwise torque so because it's a clockwise torque our convention is to treat this as a negative number it's essentially based on the right hand rule The other torque comes from the deltoid muscle. So the force created by the deltoid at an insertion point of 0 0.12 or 12 centimeters from the axis of rotation. And this acts at an angle, so I want to take the sine of 15 degrees because only the perpendicular component, uh, perpendicular to the moment arm, is going to actually create a torque. And this is a counterclockwise torque. So it gets a plus sign. And both of these have to combine to equal zero. So we can go ahead and fill in some numbers. So starting off with our <clears throat> torque created by the weight of the arm. 3.3, 9.8, 0.24 gives us 7.762 newtons. And for the deltoid muscle, when I combine 0.12 and sine 15 degrees, I get a very small number. It's only 0 0.031, which means that the deltoid is actually at a significant disadvantage in creating enough force to hold up the arm. So solving for FD, I would add 7.62 to both sides, divide both sides by the 0 0.031, and I get that force produced by the deltoid muscle has to be equal to 250 newtons. Now to find out information about the socket, it didn't, wasn't a player in the torque equation because it's zero meters from the axis of rotation. There's my axis right there. However, the other conditions for equilibrium still apply. So the sum of all the forces in the x direction has to be equal to zero. And they are, well, just taking a quick look here, I can break the deltoid up into its x component and the force of the socket up into its x component and the force of the deltoid into its y component and the force of the socket into its y component and then the weight also acts in the y direction. So we're ready to proceed now and as far as the x components go, I don't really know what this angle is so I'm just going to say the force 
provided by the socket in the x direction minus the force of the deltoid which is FD and its y component is the cosine of the angle and that's got to equal zero so here's my unknown FSX minus the deltoid which is 250 newtons times the cosine of 15 degrees is going to give me 242 newtons and that's got to equal zero so the force provided by the socket in the extraction has got to be 242 newtons and the third condition for equilibrium is the sum of all the forces in the y direction that also has to equal zero so the force of the socket in the y direction again because I don't know the angle minus the force of the deltoid times the sine of the angle it makes that has to be equal to zero and so that's why and if I do 250 newtons times the sine of 15 degrees then I get 65 newtons and it has to equal zero so that means the force that the socket provides in the y direction is actually downward which makes sense minus 65 newtons and lastly to calculate the force of the socket I'm going to do the x component squared and the y component squared take the square root of everything Whoop. and that comes out to 251 newtons and the angle is found by the inverse tangent of the y component over the x component. So inverse tangent of 65 over 242 and I'm not going to worry about the minus sign because I can already see what quadrant it's in. It's going to be in quadrant 4 and that comes out to, not a big surprise, approximately 15 degrees. So really the key for this problem was starting off with our torque equation and because the deltoid makes a rough angle like all the other muscles in the body that the muscle actually has to provide a lot more force 250 newtons just to lift something that has uh, a weight of about oh, 30 newtons so difficult mechanical advantage and we can also find the force on the socket, but because the socket was the axis of rotation, it didn't show up in the torque equation. We had to go back and use the x and y components in order to find out its magnitude in its direction.